case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1983, the United States Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit heard the case of Stutz v. Freeman, which centered around the Rehabilitation Act of 1973. This act requires organizations that receive federal funding to not discriminate against qualified individuals with disabilities and to provide reasonable accommodations to such individuals. The case arose when Mr. Stutz, a man with dyslexia, was denied entry into an apprenticeship program at the Tennessee Valley Authority, TVA, in 1979 due to his low score on the General Aptitude Test Battery, GATB. Both parties agreed that the GATB was not a suitable method for evaluating Mr. Stutz's capabilities, and although TVA attempted to find alternative testing methods, they were ultimately unsuccessful. Mr. Stutz claimed that TVA's failure to accommodate him violated the Rehabilitation Act of 1973. The court agreed with Mr. Stutz, ruling that summary judgment in favor of TVA was inappropriate due to their reliance on the discriminatory GATB test and failure to accommodate Mr. Stutz. The district court's decision to grant TVA's summary judgment motion was found to be an error, and the case was remanded for further proceedings. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.